Lives are turned around. Yeah, Craig, uh, good morning to you. Yes, from the Mississippi Delta. And I think a picture uh, really speaks a thousand words sometimes more than a reporter's voice. And where I'm standing, just take a look at this and let this sink in right now. Aluminum wrapped cinder blocks. I'm standing on the sides of a building, a vehicle on its side, doors open. Craig, I'm gonna make my way here down this piece of concrete. Right below where I'm standing is an entire vehicle, smashed. There is wood on it, there is a part of a window, there is steel, there are trees, there are nails coming out of all of this and the aluminum. I'm gonna to try to be very careful as I make my way here over this pile. And we look at some of the other video uh, that I shot yesterday evening. Guys, if we can roll that and take a look at this neighborhood that is absolutely devastated. Home by home, street by street, completely destroyed. The preliminary outlook by National Weather Service in EF4, that is wind speeds, as we know, over 165 miles per hour. This is the Mississippi Delta, this town of Rolling Fork, little under 2,000 people that live here. And when you come in on the main road, the highway, you get here and what you suddenly realize, A, there's no power, B, everything around you is 100% destroyed. Uh, it is purely catastrophic here. Uh, there is uh, really not a semblance of living, in a sense, of like where homes were standing. Uh, it is a terrible scenario here this morning uh, under the cover of darkness in one of the poorest areas in all of the United States, the Mississippi Delta. Week after week since Christmas, these storms have rattled this region. And unfortunately, that first week of spring, last Friday night in the 8 p.m. Central hour is when all hell broke loose. Let's listen to one woman's account of what she went through. We um, made it to the tub just in time. By the time we got over in the tub, it was right on top of us. How long did it last? To me, a lifetime, but I think it was only probably a minute or two, and, and it was gone. It, and when it was over, you came out of the tub, and what did you see? Darkness. Darkness and debris. Once I was, I guess, able to adjust my sight, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, but just a lot of stuff everywhere. Yeah, everything you work for is gone. But I do have my life, so. I mean, let that sink in. Everything is gone, uh, but she's got her life. Uh, I, 